in the Opera House, we're able to take advantage of so many different art forms to be able to tell the story. And so for people who feel like they know Romeo and Juliet, here's a whole new way of, of evoking the story for them. The orchestra, the chorus, the fight choreography, the choreography, the sets, the lights, the costumes, it all comes together in this really incredible way that, that just makes it come alive and gives people a fresh perspective on something they think they know really, really well. Our stage director, Ian Judge, who we love around here. Boys, that's really good work. He's a very experienced stage director. It's great if it actually works with the music. Decided to set with his designer team the production in the period of composition, so it's set in the Victorian era. You can't have a Romeo and Juliet without those two singers. <laughs> Nita Makaidza, this really wonderful, charming, young, vibrant singer. I love this part. I, I really love parts of Juliet. Everything is written with the music and the music of Kuno is so perfect. I'm just listening to music, listening to words, and the character is coming automatically. And our Romeo, of course, is Vittorio Grigolo. This is his Los Angeles Opera debut. Absolutely beautiful voice. In addition to being such a wonderful musician, he's proved himself to be incredibly engaging with audiences. I love his voice. I love how, how he's doing the music. I have to say that this production for me is really special. Because for me it's really really big 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 honor to have a conductor, Maestro Placido Domingo. Placido Domingo is the foundation uh, and the house on top of the foundation for Romeo. He's our general director. And of course, we have the wonderful asset of him in the pit. Now that Placido is here, uh, he's bringing uh, a lot of energy and uh, a lot of uh, good uh, feeling around us. So I think it's going to be a wonderful show. Don't miss it.